Do you remember when you were a child and your mother used to tell you that eating too much ice cream, butter, or cheese can make your stomach upset? Yeah, we barely listened to her when we were kids, right? In this video, we're going to tell you one of the reasons why excessive dairy product intake may not be good for your health. We're back at Natural Education again, where we talk about tips, facts, and hacks about your physical and mental health. Today, we'll give you symptoms that you're lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerance happens when your body produces too little of the enzyme lactase, which is essential in breaking down the sugar in milk. Lactose is the sugar found in milk and dairy products. Lactase is the enzyme responsible for turning lactose into glucose and galactose. When you are lactose deficient, your body suffers from lactose malabsorption. This happens when the lactose goes into and gets stuck in your colon instead of the small intestines. There are three types of lactose intolerance. The first one is primary lactose intolerance. It is the most common type and it happens to all ages. As you grow older, your ability to produce lactase decreases. Studies show that 70% of adult people can no longer produce enough lactase. This is one reason why adults don't often consume dairy products as compared to children who need milk for their fast growth and bone health. The second type is secondary lactose intolerance. This occurs when you experience gastrointestinal injury, disease, or infection. This causes your small intestines to produce fewer lactase enzymes needed for lactose breakdown. The last type is congenital or developmental lactose intolerance, which happens to babies. This can be hereditary and can be passed on from one generation to another through an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance. In addition, premature babies may also experience lactose intolerance due to insufficient lactate levels. Love hearing more of this info? Hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos every week. Now, let's jump right into the signs and symptoms that you may be lactose intolerant. Number one, bloating. Nothing feels worse than bloating when you're trying to flaunt a sexy outfit or wear bikinis at the beach. Bloating is uncomfortable since it makes you feel like you're always full. During lactose intolerance, bloating is caused by the increase of water and gases in the colon. A certain bacteria called microflora ferments and breaks down the lactose in the colon. This process releases short-chain fatty acids and gases. Increased acids and gases, such as hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide, cause your stomach to feel heavy. It can also cause stomach pain below and around your navel. Number two, abdominal cramps. Abdominal cramps and bloating usually go hand in hand. After feeling bloated, you will eventually feel these cramps when you eat or drink too many dairy products. This symptom is also caused by excess gas and water. According to experts, there is no specific cure for the symptoms of lactose intolerance. The only way you can reduce the pain is to manage your intake of milk and dairy. If you have been diagnosed with lactase deficiency before, you might consider taking in small amounts of dairy foods. Prevention is indeed better than cure when it comes to lactose intolerance. Have you experienced these two symptoms after eating dairy or drinking milk before? Let us know in the comments so we can give you more preventative tips. Number three, diarrhea. Diarrhea is an awful symptom of lactose intolerance. Going to the restroom several times a day is such a hassle to your daily routine. This symptom is also characterized by stool frequency. It is also defined by stool volume and liquidity. Seven ounces or 200 grams of increased bowel movement within 24 hours is already classed as diarrhea. Lactose intolerance results in diarrhea when it increases the volume of water in the colon, resulting in more liquid content in your stool. Your diarrhea typically begins 30 minutes to two hours after dairy consumption. This symptom will normally last one to two days. Within this period, it is expected that the lactose will pass through your digestive system and get rid of the other signs mentioned earlier. Number four, gas and flatulence. While diarrhea is a bothersome symptom, increased gas and flatulence can be embarrassing. Gas is the result of the lactose fermentation by microflora. It is the released hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide in the colon. Increased gas eventually leads to flatulence or the passing of gas from your digestive system. This process is commonly known as farting. Gas caused by lactose intolerance is odorless. However, excessive farting can be uncomfortable, especially when you're at a public place or gathering. So next time you hang out with your friends, you may want to consider skipping milk or dairy if you've experienced lactose intolerance before. It might lead to a laughable disaster. Have you been to a party or gathering where you experienced frequent calls of nature because of lactose intolerance? Tell us about your story so we can keep it from happening next time. Number five, other primary lactose intolerance symptoms. Usually occurring symptoms of lactose intolerance include nausea and vomiting. Some rare ones are headaches, fatigue, joint pain, eczema, and constipation. While bloating, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and gas are the most common, 
They can also be associated with other conditions in the body or, or stomach as a whole. The rare symptoms may also vary from person to person. It is recommended by experts to consult your doctor when you experience any of these signs in order to verify if they are caused by lactose intolerance or not. It is also important to note that lactose intolerance and dairy allergies are different. Lactose intolerance is more associated with the digestive system, while dairy allergy relates to the immune system. Did you find this video revealing? As we always say, it feels great when we spread awareness to our loved ones. It's always been our goal to create a community of well-informed and healthy people. Share this with your friends as well and see you on our next natural education story.